Are you serious? Are you serious? The United Arab Emirates is very serious, folks. They're going to build a city on Mars. And don't you laugh and don't turn the video off. Listen to this. Uh, over the, according to 911 Breaking News, over the past few decades, oil and gas revenue has helped the United Arab Emirates develop a, at a, break, a breakneck pace uh, its glistening city. It has the world's new tallest building now and countless other accol accolades. While just last year, there was new plans announced to build a completely new city of happiness. What? Uh, the United Arab Emirates' latest venture may set new heights in terms of ambition, though, however, because uh, they announced this week at the sidelines of the World Government Summit in Dubai, the UAE announced that it's planning to build its first ever city on Mars. This is an actual government plan. They want to get it done by the year 2117. According to the CNBC News, the UAE engineers presented a concept city at the event about the size of Chicago for guests to explore. In a statement, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashad Al Maktoum, uh, he is the ruler of Dubai and vice president of the UAE, sounded confident about the project and human ambitions he says, have no limits. Now, if you want to know what, what the, you say, Pastor Begley, what does this got to do with the biblical prophecy? Bible says that men will try to climb into the heavens. Now, we already know uh, we've been in space. We're in space, and uh, we got probes everywhere, and we know this, okay, but not to the level of a city built on Mars. And uh, the plan is to get it done in 100 years. You might say, oh, I don't have to worry about that. That's going to be 100 years. No, that's the plan. <laughs> Excuse me. That's the plan to uh, build the city in 100 years. My point is this. The fact that they're planning to try to figure out how to climb into the heavens, the fact that we're already climbing into the heavens, shows us that we're living in days that we never thought we'd ever see. Remember Nimrod as he built his tower into the heavens, how God saw what man was doing, and he went ahead and confounded his language to stop Nimrod and whatever uh, technologies that he and others may have acquired. Remember, uh, you know, the fallen ones, uh, when they were here, uh, and many of the giants that I should say the hybrids that were from them, many giants that came from them, uh, obviously they, a lot of technology was dispersed from the fallen ones, from the fallen angels to mankind. It still is being done, actually, as there are many people who worship them. So you have the UAE, very ambitious, trying to climb into the heavens. All of this is signs of the end times. We're truly living in a day we never thought we'd ever see. And I'm reporting on a on a news item I never thought I'd ever report on. But uh, we're in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.